well, let's go. I mean, let's let's get going. Last episode, I spent a good amount of time preparing the village. And the next part of that was supposed to be to put villagers in there. And I'm excited to say that that's what's going to go on and happen here. So I should probably explain what's going on here. This is a little bit of a structure I made for sort of trying to spawn things. I don't naturally have actually any villages anywhere. Like I've, I've walked around a, a couple times in different directions and there's just none out there. So we gotta make our own. And what this does is hopefully spawns uh, zombies. It's actually already spawned a few. And I think I've got enough of a system down here that I can go ahead and explain it without too much difficulty um, on my part. I just took a part of the, uh, the water here, drained out the liquid, and have a, you know, a two, two block tall area. And on the sides is half slabs. They don't let light in, but you can still see inside. That helps see like silhouettes of things. And there's already some bats in there, if you could tell. I hang out around here and just kind of hang out. It's been kind of what's going on, just hanging out. And the, the goal of this is to get zombie villagers, cure them. So what we got here is a lot of potions of weakness and an apple. And maybe I should introduce you to uh, the villagers we have so far. It's uh, Larry, Jerry, Frary, Gary, and Thary. And they're just the beginning. But... I want to go ahead and just get a few of them here, just just to show what I'm up to. So I'm gonna sit here and wait until some things spawn in there. I'm I'm not gonna make you sit through. That. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut cut. You can you can cut. Ah uh, oh. oh, there we go. So I would like to point out that this would go a lot quicker. If I lit up all the caves below, but turns out there's a ravine directly under this. And this is literally the most best I can do. I do think it's interesting to notice that these zombies don't seem to even care at all about me because their policy is specifically about that. In fact, you can even hit them a little bit. You have to hit them a couple times, and then they then they start to finally notice but what I want to do is basically just give them little taps the lightest attack I can get because see look there comes one every time you hit them there's a chance that a zombie will spawn and I just kind of pick two of them and I you know go to town like this and usually kind of hope for the best Sometimes you can kill them all and then nothing happens. Doesn't always spawn the right type. So you gotta have a weapon. If you're coordinated enough. Dun dun dun. Oh. So I did end up going down there and uh, lighting up some more caves because this was actually taking a while. Rats. Oh good, party guests. Oh lovely. Thing is, they're not calling for backup. They're like, no, we can handle this. We can handle it. We're winning this battle. We don't need to call in reinforcements. Oh, okay, they, they called in one reinforcement. That's, that's good. This is the one time that you actually hope for a zombie horde. 
Y'all, I, I can't believe I forgot about this. See the village right there? Back when I was lighting up everything, like way back. <sighs> Guess what I found? <laughs> this, uh, way easier than what I was doing over there. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> so the plan is to let this thing make lots of zombies and we can kill off the ones that are not villagers. Oh, this is going to be so much easier. Oh, yes. Oh, this is so much easier. Look at that. We already have one. Actually, what's interesting is these don't seem to be calling in reinforcements. I'm going to maximize the amount, hopefully, by uh, hanging out in here with them. Oh, three of them. You know what? I'm not going to push my luck. If I have three... I'm going to try to get these... T these ones taken care of. <laughs> So now what I'm going to do is Operation Human Bait. <laughs> it's kind of like leading sheep around, only a lot more deadly. <laughs> Make sure I don't run out of... Oh, no, I got turned around. Okay, we're good. Oh, it's daytime. That's not good. They're going to burn up in the daytime. All right. Flank. Nope, nope, nope. Bad at flanking. All right, so... Let's think about this. I think I have to wait until night. Oh, no, 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 that was a bad choice. Bad decision. Bad decision. No, stop. Mouse! Okay. <laughs> Not a good time to have lags. <laughs> oh, boy. Alright, I, I can be okay with this. They're stuck right there for now. And I can see if it's daytime. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, you want to tear my face off. Oh my. Oh my, what, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, don't do that again. <laughs> wow, this is like the longest day cycle ever. Is, is it getting darker? <laughs> Do I just have to keep... The one in the middle has trouble sometimes with its head. I think its head actually spins the wrong way sometimes. Maybe I've just been watching them too long. I don't like that they get bored and start walking away. I don't like that. Please don't walk away. Pretty sure that took the full 10 minutes. But it looks like it's finally dark out. So, where were we, gentlemen? Oh, yes. Ah! Ah! Oh, okay. So, uh... Alright. Very good. Alright. 
What I can do is when I get them in range of the villagers, they can uh, they can decide that the villagers are more important than me. Just so you know, I'm not inebriated or anything. Uh, slight movements of the mouse can sometimes be exaggerated when your machine's running at full capacity. Which is unfortunate when I need to make very subtle dodge type moves. <laughs> but, okay. Alright, gotta get him over there. I believe. Come on. You can do it! Get to the me! This is like the best motivation they could ever hope for as zombies. Just like, you can do it! It's like the... 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 The, the, the person that they're going after is also rooting for them. So they have hunger and zombie nature encouraging them. But also the, the person's actually encouraging them too, which is a, a psychological bonus probably. Is that one just falling behind? Ugh. Getting kind of seasick. No. All right, I've got an idea. Y'all get over here when you're ready. All right, we got we got some hustle. We got some hustle. Come on. Come, come on. Get, get up. Come on. Oh, there's is there like no ledge? Okay. Come on. You can do it. Oh good, they're they're finding Yes! Yes, home free Oh wait, they can't get to him, can they? Oh they can! Alright, so all I gotta do is do that to him. What's kind of funny is I can literally push them into their spots <laughs> and <laughs> jump around, jump around. Oh, come on, you were in sync before. All right. All right, we got a party. <laughs> it's a party, it's a party. All right, I can finally show this. So, got a potion of weakness. And it's a splash potion, so I can just probably hit both of them. You get an apple. You get an apple! Yeah, I got myself, but that's a small price to pay. Oh. I think they might not make it to the sun. Oh, I'm sure these villagers are just loving this. <laughs> what does it look like to them? I, I wonder. <laughs> that would be terrifying. It's just like some horrible, <laughs> horrible game of lack a moles going on here. <laughs> oh, the sun. Okay, right. So I gotta give them some protection before they burn up. That's probably enough. All right. Now we should hear a sound when they're done. <laughs> when they're when they're cooked finally. I could run off and try to get this thing going again. Or get more. But I really want to make sure that these are done deals. Let's take a peek. Oh! Yep. Look at them. What do we got? Farmer? And a stapler. Cool. Let's see what what is this one gonna be? What are you gonna be when you grow up? A fletch. Hmm. Hmm, as they say. Now this part's a little tricky. I like to try to coax them to join with the others. Oh, 
I know they just freaked out each other during initiation. Now these people did try to rip your heads off, but they're also your friends, potentially. It might just increase the floor plan just a little bit more, give them more incentive to uh, come out and explore their new surroundings. So that gives eight. I actually want to try to get 12 before I unleash the gate. So uh, be, be back when that's, when that's done. <laughs> you know, it's probably best um, that you, you didn't see how I got all of these uh, villagers in here. There's, um, it looked like there was a lot more because when I was panning, these ones quickly ran under <laughs> and went that way. But there, there, there's 15 here. I think that's enough for this uh, this village. There were 16, but I had just enough time to see one of them suffocate in one of the blocks. So that's uh, that's that's fun. But what I did is I would kind of lure them uh, along this. I decided to get smart enough to make a path, and that was a little faster than one of these. But I think I think this is good. I do need to mention, though, that I've been doing some looking around here, and what I found kind of troubles me. So here I am. I'm uh, clearly floating. This is not the server, but a copy I made specifically for a specific purpose, to check for lighting um, and spawnable things. Um, putting putting villagers in a village, they, they're a really big target for... Um, the hostiles in this game, particularly zombies. So if I'm gonna put them somewhere, I really wanna make sure that they don't all just die, especially since I, it takes a lot of work to get a, get a group going. So what I did do is, I'll explain these markers in a second. I, I walked around in the world just looking at each tree specifically and trying to gauge and fill in any gaps that there would be uh, mobs spawning. I'm gonna be magical. And, uh, and fly. Peter, you can fly! Or, I don't know, it never probably says that in that movie. Um, but there were spots like this where, like, um, before it was it was like that. So I, I filled it in because a zombie actually fell out of there on me. So that made me a little bit paranoid because I thought, wow, uh, just one zombie gets in here. Everything is, is, is done. <laughs> like, it's the end of the world. Literally, it's... <laughs> it's Everyone dies. So I went around the whole place, everything within the fenced area, and checked all the trees, and I found quite a few spots, because I didn't realize that the big trees naturally oftentimes do have uh, things that need to be kind of filled in, like this one had like that, for instance. And that, that's just big enough for like a, a baby zombie, and that's, that's enough. So me being paranoid, I thought, well, maybe I'll go make a second world and kind of fly around just to just to make sure so I inspected every tree in this I use red wool and the blue wool blue wool means it's a good tree it's all safe I don't have to change anything but I was kind of dismayed because each of these red marks is a tree that had something wrong with it and by that I mean something that can totally spawn some bad guys and uh, and wreck my stuff here at the village, I actually found quite a few, especially in the uh, the more foresty areas. But I want to show you the type of things that I'm well, that I'm that I'm uh, talking about here. Like for one, I forgot that these are totally spawnable. So, uh, like here's the half slab, but these no half slab. The the trees are kind of crazy because like. One of the reasons why I felt justified in actually flying around these is because some of the parts that are spawnable, I'd have to literally climb each tree and like find the spot. Like there's there's a couple in there. Yeah, I fly over here. There's there's a couple there because they can spawn on wood. They can't spawn on leaves, but they can spawn on wood. I would literally have to climb each of these trees to check them all. And in survival, that means like pillaring up, taking off the pillar when I'm done, getting all of the visual angles I would need to make sure that I can look in 
Like, some of these are so hidden. Like, I needed to be able to fly around. So, I'm, I'm going ahead and justifying it by saying I'll just... I'll locate them this way, but I won't change anything unless I'm doing it in survival. So, I, I hope that's a good split, the difference. But as you can see, this would be a lot of work. So... It kind of did get me a little disheartened, because I know that I still do have to keep track of everything, write down the coordinates or take pictures and climb all these trees. And it was already kind of grindy just getting the, uh, the villagers over there, but this is going to be really grindy. And I don't want to skip this step if I'm going to put the villagers in the village. It just, there's just a bit, of, a bit of grind that's been happening lately, I guess. <laughs> you could call it that. It's all good stuff, and I totally signed up for it by starting a survival series anyways. Like, I'm not, I'm not unhappy about it. It's just, I know it takes time, and it's, uh, it's effort I gotta put in. Which I think brings me to the next thing I want to talk about. I'm gonna go back into the world, into my world, and go to, the, go to one of the places that makes me happy. Ah, this place. I, I, I didn't expect it to be... One of my favorite places because it's not really it wasn't really an intense thing to make it was on a whim really just kind of like just have a spot i thought i would carve out a place because i thought i might put a build here but i didn't instead it's sort of like a nice little um it's not really a grotto but it's it's like a nice breath of fresh air from the town i purposely made it so you can't really see any of the buildings even that one you can kind of see it but you know the the wall you can't see it either because of all the trees it's sort of a uh, spot to relax, kind of realize that, you know, uh, I'm in the game, playing, and it's good just to kind of sit back and, uh, you know, relax sometimes and uh, observe your surroundings and spin around. But I think this is a good spot to uh, stop and uh, have a little chat, a little chit chat. I'm going to be brief with this. Uh, I think that I need to take a break, so I'm going to take a break. Uh, from YouTube. I've taken breaks in the past. I've took breaks. Taken? Took? I've taken breaks in the past for like you know, a week off here and there. Uh, not too many, but you know, sometimes you just need a week off. But every so often I get to a point where I just have too many things I'm trying to do at once. Eventually that does wear on me, so I get to the point where I need to take sometimes up to a month off just to kind of Revitalize and re-energize because I'm not. Uh, uh, this series is supposed to be fun, and it is fun, but I can feel it kind of creeping in, like in the side, in my peripheral vision. Just if I look, like, I can't really see it, but I know it's there. Um, where stuff starts to not get fun anymore. And uh, last night, yesterday, today's Thursday, so today's, today's the day the video is supposed to come out. Yesterday, I didn't want to film the entire day because I just wasn't feeling it. And I don't want to bring that energy into this series. That's pretty much just where it starts and ends. Um, so if I'm if I'm not feeling it, I don't want to make videos. So I'm, I do want to say <laughs> it's kind of interesting timing because 1.9 is about to come out. I know a lot of other YouTubers are going to start playing a lot again because of, of this. And it could be tempting for me to, to uh, do the same thing, but it's more important that I recognize the fact that I need a break. I did want to get that out there, tell you, uh, tell you all what's up. And I'll probably do stuff here and there on here anyways, so I'll, I'll still document it. And I'll probably throw it all together into uh, the next episode I put out. But I'm going to relax and take it easy, kick back, maybe do some other things that I haven't had time to do just so I can you know, play catch up on other things I'm doing. And I'll let you know when I'm better and more content and ready to get started again. Because I I do want to get started again. And I want to care enough to let you guys know. I am happy that I finished this episode of the saga. And I hope you've enjoyed it. This has been Red McNed. And... I'll, I'll, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> I was going to say, I'll hopefully. I'll definitely make another one. So, but anyways, I'll, I'll, okay, I'm out. I'm gone. Bye-bye.